The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Las Vegas, weighing in at 291 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Ryback. I can only imagine what it must be like to stand across the ring from a man as physically imposing and intimidating as Ryback. Well, you're right. It cannot be fun, Cole. Ryback's like a mountain with legs. Oh, the look on this guy's face tells me he's about to inflict some major pain. Ooh, you better look out. And approaching the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye, and this is one of those times. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I. When it comes down to it, I don't know if any WWE superstar really wants to step through the ropes and try and topple the human wrecking ball Ryback, a.k.a. the big guy. Brock Lesnar showing signs of life. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho, nobody home that time. Look at him unloading with the dead. You know, it's safe to say that Ryback is pretty much feared throughout the WWE locker room. I think it's also safe to say that goes for the fans in our audience as well. Both in attendance with us and those watching at home. Well, what's your take right now on Brock Lesnar? A ton of talent, a ton of ability. Certainly someone to keep an eye on. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, that's original. Look out. King, the crowd feels the fear they do about Ryback because... One, he's not interested in their thoughts and opinions, and they know it. And two, the fans know Ryback has the power and the mean streak to do and say whatever he wants, whenever he wants. The shoulders are down! And it's up. He got the shoulder up. I give the kid his due, but I don't know how much more Ryback can take. And he touches that one. Oh, wow. He's dizzy. Lesnar's in trouble. Oh, out of no... Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, right to the gut. We know about Ryback's inane ability to do whatever he wants here. It's amazing over the course of WWE's history, all the powerhouses and freaks of nature that have entered its battleground. Fans know that Ryback is not the next in a long, distinguished line of strongmen, but something they in the WWE has never seen before. Yeah, Ryback strikes fear directly into the hearts of WWE's fans. I mean, Ryback's power, speed, and vicious intent to destroy is something very easy. Wow, what a move for Brock Lesnar. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. And Brock Lesnar has momentum. Here's 
to cover. And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Ryback refuses to give up. Ryback is just awesome. We're seeing a man right now whose sole purpose is to destroy other human beings. Textbook offense here. You know, something that many people don't know about Ryback away from the ring is that his time in the gym is what he considers to be his most private time. It doesn't take a genius to see Ryback spends a lot of time dedicated to physical wellness. But Ryback also uses the gym as a form of meditation. King, this is amazing show of power and dominance. You see this and you know exactly why he's dubbed the human wrecking ball. Absolutely amazing. What we're witnessing here is surreal. The beast, Brock Lesnar, is lethal as is. But now it's like he's running on unlimited. Quick pin, pay us this it. Uh, it may be. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. Penny Lesnar is like trying to hold down a gorilla. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. King, you brought up Ryback in his time in the gym. Ryback uses that time to reflect on what is going on in WWE as well as outside the company. The discipline it takes to build a physique like Ryback's requires years and years of dedication and sacrifice. Yeah, and I think, hey, the shoulders are down. And he escapes with a kick out. It's unbelievable the amount of punishment Ryback can absorb. Ryback turns the tide. Well, that's one way of getting out of trouble. Oh, that's one way to make your lunch come back up. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? He may have to worry about internal injuries. The shoulders are down! And it's up. He got the shoulder up. There's a long way to go before Lesnar is through. Oh, Cole, I gotta tell you, one of the most memorable periods of Brock Lesnar's career for me was the incredible battle with Triple H at WrestleMania 29. The Beast Incarnate versus The Game in a no-holds-barred match at WrestleMania. That was a war like no other. Now with complete control. Uh-oh, the bear hug squeezing the life away. Oh, there's nothing that hurts worse than a good hard bear hug. Oh, out of nowhere. This may settle the score right here. Brock Lesnar, what a crafty maneuver. Jerry the King Lawler, you mentioned the... Lesnar makes the cover. He did it, what a huge win. Let's go to the highlights here. Let's see what happened during that incredible match. Oh, what a spectacular match. We may be looking at the match of the year. Here's your winner, Brock Lesnar. That'll do it. Brock Lesnar walks away with the W. Few things are more rewarding.